What's up, y'all? You're watching Union Minded. I'm your host, Eric, and today we are going to catch up with IBEW Local 46's Inside Wire Negotiations. Um, IBEW 46 has been uh, an inspiration for me personally. I'm watching how that local um, informs their member and, and, and keeps their members involved and also is not afraid to inform the public of what's going on because I'm able to go on to the Local 46 website and access documents that are um, directed towards the membership regarding their negotiations. They're literally in the middle of negotiations right now. The limited energy unit is on strike right now and the inside wire uh, negotiations is going on right now. And so it's a particular interest for me because you guys know I motioned for transparency and uh, it was a big contentious uh, motion that eventually passed but this is the type of transparency that was intended and I don't think we got but let me let me just show you an example of what full transparency looks like coming from an IBEW local union that is actually doing it uh, for their members so this is from today Inside Wire Negotiations Member Update Number 8. The Inside Wire Small Committee met with Nika today. The sense of slow but steady progress we've had until now came to a screeching halt. Last Friday, we proposed a package that included a wage increase, a new paid time off account, sick pay following the worker, and expanded paid parking. These were members' top priorities. Nika has been asking questions about the mechanics of the package and were receptive to PTO in particular. They described it as an interesting idea and liked that it could be a reimbursable cost. In the first two sessions of bargaining today, Nika failed to bring any questions or offers to our proposals. Before conclusion of bargaining, despite weeks of Nika asking for minor changes to our hazardous conditions proposal, which we accommodated, and stating that they agreed with a section of it in its entirety, Nika said they see no compelling reason to add any of the language to the contract. Then Nika brought a proposal that addressed wages only, an increase of $1 from their opening offer, and not a word about PTO or other components of the package. In the last hour, they deflected our questions about what mechanics of the PTO proposal they're struggling with. They cited the time it takes to work out the logistics, but there are precedents, and we have repeatedly told them we've done the research. We've shared our findings with them. PTO was also explored in our last negotiations proposed by NECA, so NECA has had the idea for the last three years, and now say they need more time to explore it to work out the details. The small committee feels that NECA has dragged their feet, especially since economic proposals were exchanged. They say they want to come to an agreement, but their demeanor suggests otherwise. They've often simply said no, or strung us along for weeks, only to conclude that they don't see a compelling reason to add the language. Next steps, and then it gives some next steps for the membership to follow. The small committee calls on every Inside Wire member to take ownership of your conditions at work. In every instance, members should ask themselves if their choices are leading to greater collective power or greater division. Now is the time for members to start talking to co-workers to remind them about the underlying principles of unions, which won the 40-hour work week, the weekend, and every single protection workers have through solidarity. We meet with Nika all day Monday, June 10th, 2024. We'll continue to push for members' priorities. Additional messaging and information will come from business manager Sean Bagsby over the weekend and early next week. This is from the Inside Wire Small Committee. And that is a way to keep the members up to date on what's going on. But not only that, to utilize the membership as well in the negotiating process. They give directions to the members on how to go about their work day, taking ownership of their working conditions, promoting what unions are all about and what their collective solidarity will bring forth. This is ideal. Um, in my opinion, this is ideal of how it should be done. Um, so when you're told it can't be done it'll harm us don't don't believe the uh don't believe the hype there are locals out there doing it 
My name's Eric, you're watching Union Minded. Remember that the fight's not left and right, it's up and down. It's gonna take solidarity to win always. Each one teach one, get out there and reach one, and remember there could be no union without you and I front and center. Let's go.